On December 14th, 2022, NASA's Juno spacecraft will fly past Jupiter's volcanic moon Io at a distance of 64,000 kilometers, or 40,000 miles. This is its closest pass to Io for 2022, after a pair of encounters in the spring and summer. During the last encounter on July 5th, GenoCam acquired eight images of Io. These images still didn't have the resolution to allow us to spot changes across Io's surface due to volcanic activity, but they do allow us to better understand Io's color variations as they would appear to the human eye thanks to GenoCam's set of red, blue, and green filters. Since that encounter with Io, Juno also performed a much closer flyby of Europa back on September 29th. JunoCam took a series of images spanning Europa's sub-Jovian hemisphere, observing the Kalanish impact basin, as well as numerous crisscrossing tectonic lineae. With Juno's closer vantage point on this encounter, its infrared camera GRAM will be able to map thermal emission at volcanoes like Kelebes, Amirani, Tavashtar, and Loki in fine detail. With a resolution of 15 kilometers per pixel, we can start answering questions like whether the two hotspots identified with the Kelebes eruption are actually connected in a large flow field, or whether Loki is undergoing another active phase as expected. At a resolution of 43 kilometers per pixel, the GenoCam observations should provide some information about the large-scale albedo markings near Io's North Pole, a region that has been poorly covered by spacecraft images to date. Of particular interest is Lake Hunk Fluctus, Io's largest basaltic flood lava plain. It will also be interesting to see when we'll finally start spotting surface changes on Io's surface as the resolution has been too low so far to make any definitive statements. This is the third of a series of Io encounters by NASA's Juno spacecraft, which culminate with a pair of close flybys in late 2023 and early 2024. The next encounter in the sequence takes place on March 1st.